Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I made these three baby penguins from my current Lapierre baby penguin craft kit. Some of you might have seen my unboxing video, so if you want to have a look at what's inside the box, check out the link below. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get started. The first thing I have to do is cut out the pattern pieces. So I've got two pairs of scissors, I've got some fabric scissors and some sort of just general scissors. You don't use your fabric scissors when you're cutting paper because it will blunt your scissors. So I'm going to start cutting and I'll catch up with you again in just a little while. So I've cut out all my pattern pieces now and because I need to do multiple pieces in different colours I've just noted down what numbers of what colour pieces I need. I've also put a little bit of double sided tape on the back of my um, pattern piece because the small and fiddly I don't want to put pins in it particularly but I don't want it to move while I'm cutting the felt. So now I'm cutting the fabric I'm going to use my fabric scissors to cut out all the shapes. All my pieces are cut out now and I've got enough for three penguins. I've got quite a fair bit of felt left over so if I wanted to make more I probably could get at least one more penguin out of there. So I'm going to put that to the side and now it's time to start stitching. So the first part I have to do is sew two of these face pieces together. So. I am just going to work on these. We'll be using the embroidery threads that came in the kit. So as you can see they come in quite thick strands and what you need to do is take the colour that you want to use and then separate out the strands just by pulling on the end and then just put the rest to one side to start off with I'm just gonna pull my thread and leave a bit of a tail sticking out and I don't want that to go all the way through so I'm just going to hold on to it and we're using an overhand stitch so we're going to go back round and through the same hole that we went in before I'm not going to pull it all the way I'm going to pass my needle through the stitch and through it again and now I'm going to pull it tight and that should be secure so I'm not going to pull my thread out of the felt so according to my instructions doing the overhand stitch you basically pop your needle through one side pull it out the other side just going to move the tail out of the way so it doesn't get trapped and then go back through the same side that you went in to begin with. So I'm going to go all the way down until I reach here and then we'll be ready for the next part. So I've reached my final stitch on this piece and like I did at the beginning I've left a little loop and I'm just going to pass my needle through once, through 
through twice in the same direction and then pull my stitch tight and then I can snip my ends off and then the first piece is done all of my front face pieces are now sewn together so the next stage is to attach the white piece of face behind the front of the head so if we look here you can see that it's not quite the right shape to fit flat on flat so we have to pin our face in place like this which I have already done here and then manipulate it and that will give us a curved face so now I'm just going to sew all the way around in an M shape until we get to the end so I'm going in at the back through the white and the grey well, I'm coming round here and then back through just the white section now all the face pieces are stitched on to the front head pieces and the instructions say if you've got any little extra corners of white felt hanging out the sides just to trim them off so I'm just using my small scissors to do this because I don't want to take any chunks out of his head so the next bit is to embroider the eyes so it says to use French knots or back stitches so we'll try a bit of both so I'm gonna poke my needle up roughly where I want my eye to be and then I'm going to wind my thread twice around my needle holding the thread all the time poke my needle back down roughly in the same place and hooray the French knot so on this guy I am going to try and do some eyes in backstitch because the gaps are a little bit bigger here so I've got a bit more room. It's very tricky to do this and stay in frame at the same time. Go back in. So I've done one side and now the tricky part will be to get the other one to look the same on the other side. Pretty similar <laughs> if you squint. So I'm going to fasten this off and then I'll do the eyes on my final penguin. So now the beaks are on, the faces of the penguins are finished. So the next step is to sew the back pieces of the head together, which will be done in the same way as we sewed the first two pieces of the front of the head together. Next, I have to make the bodies of my penguins. So I'm gonna sew these two pieces together and these two pieces together in the same way that we sewed the main pieces of the head together. Put my thread through once and twice and three times and then pull it tight and now I'm ready to just keep sewing all the way along and now I just have one left to do so what we are going to do is open up the front piece and the back piece, put them together so that the seams are on the outside and then sew up the edges in an overhand stitch like we did with the other pieces. So the bodies now look like these 
square tubes and we have to attach the base to the body so I've cut my shapes so that the colour of the base matches the back of the body so the paler bit of the body is at the front so again we're attaching this with an overhand stitch so the penguins inside out at the moment and I want to catch the foot between the belly and the base so the toes which will point outwards are going to point inwards so I'm just going to carry on sewing I'm going to sew all the way around my base until I get to here and then I'm going to put the other foot in in the same way so when you've finished stitching your base on and you turn the body the right way around you'll have something that looks a little bit like this so all the body pieces and the bases are sewn together and I'm doing more overhand stitching around the front and the back of the wing pieces once you've sewn the back and the front of the wings together you attach your wings and then put the heads on and you're done so I have already attached one of the wings to my final penguin so I just have to do the other one so you're going to want to put it between the front and the back of the body and just a little bit lower than the neck start sewing from the inside out so we're just going to secure our thread in the same way that we've done on all the other steps and then I'm going to finish sewing the wing on using a back stitch so what you do is you bring your needle out in front of the stitch that you've already made and then you put it back in behind where you've just come out now that your wings are on you are ready to fill your penguin's body I'm putting some rice in the bottom of my penguin just to help him stand up a little better so I'm just going to use a spoon because I've tried pouring the rice in with the jug and it just went everywhere so he's probably about half full with rice and then I'm going to fill the rest of the way up with the toy stuffing that's included in the kit if you stuff your toy stuffing a little bit at a time it stops your penguins from getting lumpy and you can get more stuffing in so that they don't go a bit saggy so I think I've got enough stuffing in the body now I need to put some stuffing in the head so he looks a little bit over full at the moment but when we stick the head and the body together that will correct itself so now you're ready to stitch the head to the body and the instructions say to use an overhand stitch so when you finish he's going to look a little bit like Franken Penguin which is presumably why they've given you this ribbon to put around his neck now you have your Franken Penguin all you need to do is cut a piece of ribbon that will fit all the way around his neck like a little scarf to hide up the joints and then you will be finished so I've already secured my thread on the back and then all you need to do is just do a little running stitch all the way around making sure that you're covering up the neck join and then all you have to do is hide the ends of your thread inside your penguin poke my needle inside so that the threads come out the other side and then squash him down snip off the tails 
and then when he springs back the tails disappear inside and now my little family of penguins is all finished